Hi, cozy friends. This video is sponsored by Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. So exciting. And we are diving back into another code recollection. If you missed the first video, go watch that first because we do the complete demo. It's so extensive. We do the entire demo, which is free, by the way, on the Nintendo eShop. If you're not sure if you want to snatch this game up yet, the demo is going to convince you, I promise you. So you can either play the demo yourself, you can watch me play it, or you can do both in tandem. Oh my gosh, this game, like, exceeded my expectations with the mystery element, the puzzling element, the story, the characters. I was like gripped from the very beginning. And this takes place two years after the events of this game's predecessor. You really don't have to have prior knowledge of this story to jump into this one because as soon as I started the demo, I was invested in the characters. Like it is so gripping, engaging. You're like, oh, Ashley, no, like from the very beginning. But we're just going to dive right on in again so where we last left off ashley and d decided to team up together they're outside of the mansion and they're going to go check out the mansion so that d can recover his lost memories and so that ashley can find jessica her aunt because she just went missing she just went missing they went to go meet ashley's dad on this island jessica went missing so ashley's just by herself i played just a tiny bit more because i just i couldn't help myself i played a tiny bit more of just when they immediately walk into the mansion and now we're picking up from there they just found a piano in a room where D realized he had a friend at the mansion whose name was Franny, a girl I think around his age, and she used to play the piano. So they were checking out the piano. They found like a recent ashtray and were like, hello, someone was just here. Uh, where are they? And so now they're just going to look in other rooms and try to find Jessica and her dad. They're not finding nobody. The rooms aren't locked. It's just, it's, it's, it's a mess, you guys. They're not, they're not finding anybody. I'll tell you what. Um, and then Dee also remembered that the patriarch of the mansion is his great grandfather. He didn't remember much else, but he did remember that. There's an old sketch of a young girl on the easel. Want to see a picture that Papa drew? I'll show you, but it'll be our secret, okay, D? Why secret? It's Franny. It's Franny! Huh? Ashley, it's Franny. Uncle Henry drew this. Uncle Henry? Yeah. Franny's Papa. So Franny's dad is Henry. And the kid in this picture is Franny. So then it is It's D. a little rough, so it's hard to be sure. Franny grabbed my hand and pulled me into this room. She showed this to me and said that her dad was a great artist. She said she asked him to draw a picture of me, too. After that, we went into the yard. There was a puppy. Huh. Seeing Dee so happy, talking about his memories with Franny, it's a little, well, weird. Dee was with Franny, the girl in this old drawing. Mm. And that same boy is here with me, right now. I feel you, girl. That is kind of weird. <laughs> it's finally hitting home for her. It's finally hitting home. Oh, the other thing was that she's able to read note she found this little origami crane with a qr code and so now she can read uh like these little notes that somebody's leaving her we don't know who's leaving them for her but origami cranes with notes here's an example of one my first attempt at woodworking a week has passed since my clumsy hands took up a saw and hammer but i finally completed my new stool my measurements may have been a little off but it's not bad for a first attempt i'll take it to the cliff overlooking the seed next chance i get Remember the wobbly stool? It's a little wobbly. Must be the ground that's uneven. Well, it's a nice feature. Sitting on the stool that I built myself, looking out at the sea, my body rocking in time to the sounds of the waves, the wobbling will help me keep a rhythm. Sure, I worked on the stool in my spare time around developing the another, but the fact remains, it took me an entire week to make a simple stool. I'm clearly still a novice. Should the day come when I live with Ashley again, I'll have to really ramp up my woodworking skills. So... I think these are messages from her dad. She said her mom used to leave her origami cranes. So maybe mom? She she currently thinks her mom is not alive. 
But she was like, well, maybe she is. If my dad's alive, maybe my mom's alive too. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's her dad leaving her notes. What do you think this room was for? Sleeping, girl. Sleeping and, and drinking tea. That's what I think. Are they like servants' quarters? Who's this? <gasps> Who is it, D? Tell us, tell us. You mustn't enter my quarters at your whim. Yeah, maybe servants' quarters. Huh. Something the matter? I just remembered something. This was Wells's room. Wells? He was the butler of this mansion. He found me in here once and said to me, Butlers safeguard all manner of important items for the people of their houses. So you mustn't enter my quarters at your whim. I wonder what sort of important items he was looking after. Um... Oh. It was keys. Wells held every key for the mansion. Oh my gosh, they might be helpful are we gonna for have to open this thing? Let's look around for them. Well, they would be in the safe, you would think, right? That's a sturdy look. <laughs> There's a sturdy hey. looking safe, all right. Okay, we gotta look for a clue. Clue to the safe. So I'm confused why they're... The, like, lineage, I mean, I guess that's part of the... It's part of the mystery. Huh. Like, why the lineage fell off and there's no one at the mansion now. Okay. Desk? Okay. July 1924, the two play in the yard. Is that... Dee's dad and Fra Franny's dad? Masters Henry and Thomas are growing up in good health. I think so. Master Henry is a kind-hearted big brother, always looking after Master Thomas. Master Henry pursues art. Master Thomas aims to be a writer. Okay, so we know they're brothers. <laughs> oh, we've got a silver plate. Hmm. I just feel like this plate is somehow precious. Okay, so we've got a precious plate. Oh, okay, so can we put the plate... There were four plates the last time I saw them. It's important to keep all the plates together. I remember well saying mm -hmm. that. Four important plates. Okay. So in here... It looks like there's a big plate on the left. And then, like, two small plates. Okay, well, we know where one is. Can I grab it? D! Look at this plate! Yeah. Yay! Okay, we got right. one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we gotta find the other two plates. Can we go back in here? Oh, now that we know, we're looking for the plates. Mm. <gasps> Is that a plate? It's a plate with like food on it? With chocolate on it? D. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, look. <gasps> Is that me? Is that Ashley? This is. That's. She's. She's... That's her mom. Hurry, Ashley. Hide. What kind of danger was Ashley right. in? Right. I remember who said that. Your it mom? was mom. It was mom. The woman in the photo is your mother? That must mean the baby is... Yeah. It's... It's me. <gasps> This must be dad's photo. Aww. There's a 
drawing on the huh. table. This paper looks new. I wonder who the girl is. Probably you, Maybe it's Ashley. Franny? Mm, no. I don't think so. This girl? She looks a little like you. She does. She, it's it's her dad trying to figure out what she looks like as, as a grown-up. Huh? Wait. It couldn't be. Did my dad draw this picture of me? Yeah. I, um... What's wrong? Aren't you happy? Does he think I look like this? It's... Well, it's not very accurate. <laughs> oh, no. What is it? What if Dad doesn't even recognize me? Aww. He doesn't know, Ashley! He doesn't know! Okay, let's go put this one plane away. And we've only got one more. Oh. Are we finding the other plate? Um... Does this lead to the room with the piano in it? Oh. Oh? Oh, because we're on the other side now. Interesting. What a what a winding maze of a home, of a house. Yes, okay, this is the room we were in before where um, Dee remembered Franny from the piano and where we saw the cigarettes. Oh, and now we know. That the, 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 we know that the cigarettes are on the plate. We didn't know that before. Ashley. Oh my gosh. There's something about this ashtray. It's the silver plate. <sighs> hey. <gasps> oh. It's the bird. It's the platter. Okay, the platter goes on the left. I know that from the picture for sure. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh my gosh. I get so excited when I can finally put the the pieces of the puzzle together. Then do we think once the plates are in the right spot that we pull a lever and maybe the, the safe opens? What do we think? I don't know. That might be, that might be, I don't know, hmm? we'll see. Okay, four right. plates. Okay, I know this one. Small dish with pecking bird. Let's do small dish platter with flying bird. No. There we go. Wow. Whoa. Okay, so then that's correct. And now when we put the platter here, that's also going to be correct. Yes. Okay, and then this. Yay! <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh! Oh! Is it a code to the safe? What? This was some sort of puzzle all along? I love I love how they just stumbled upon it. Look, there's something in there. They wanted there. to put the plates back. That's so wholesome. We were just trying to put the plates back to honor the butler. Huh? Um Is this a map of the mansion? Huh. What? There's something written on the space for this room. Try looking at the map. Oh, I should make notes of the interesting things I find. Okay. Yeah, we've got the glasses. Where's Jessica? That's my question. We've got, are these the silver plates? Okay, then we have R13, L4, R7, L20. I think that that's a code to the safe, so let's use that. R13, you remember R13 and R7. I'll remember L4, L20. <laughs> Let me try. Yes, okay. Thirteen. Four. Seven. 20. <gasps> Yay! We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Ha! Huh, got it! Yay! Well done, Ashley. Okay, let's see what we have here. What do we have here? This is... <gasps> a couple keys! Yes, a key! Two keys. Now Two we can keys. get into those locked rooms. Yes. Got a flower key. Got the three-leaf clover What's key. What's this notebook? 
Wells must have written it. We finally learned of Master Leonard's whereabouts, but it was too late. He had already succumbed to the epidemic. It has been decided that Mr. Edward will take in the two children he left behind. Mr. Edward has ordered new rooms to be prepared for the young children. He calls the rooms the Golden Bird Room and the Silver Bird Room. The two boys have long since outgrown me. They are now strapping young men. Masters Thomas and Henry have entered the same university. Master Henry, so wise and strong. Master Thomas, sweet and honest. I'm sure Mr. Edward is indescribably proud of their growth. Now there is no longer a concern about finding a successor. Masters Henry and Thomas both marry. The dreaded day has finally come. Masters Henry and Thomas are both headed to the battlefield. The war has intensified and both young men were called to the front lines. When I think about how Mr. Edwards must feel, I'm speechless. I can only pray for their safety. The long awaited day has arrived. Both young masters have come home. The, the, oh my gosh, the emotional roller coaster. The joy I feel to have them return alive is unparalleled. They return, however, bearing grave wounds to both body and soul. Master Henry locks himself in the art studio, gazing endlessly at the piece he once painted. He even struggles with daily matters such as eating. Mr. Edward has keenly observed that help is needed and has arranged for Henry to stay on the island with his family. After staying with us for several days, Master Thomas returned to his home on the mainland. He conducted himself with his customary positive manner, but I could sense something like a dark cloud in his countenance. I cannot possibly understand their feelings, and I pray they can rest and become well soon. Mr. Edward prepared his last will and testament. Mr. Edward has taken ill. What have I done? If only I hadn't written that letter and called them to the island, but no matter how I repent, those days will never return. It's all my doing. The fault is mine alone, but perhaps one day a descendant of the Edward family will return. Should that happen, I will leave a set of blueprints in my drawer. I hope that they are found and provide some use. I pray that the souls of Mr. Edward and the others rest peacefully for eternity. This Mr. Edward must have been your great-grandfather, Dee. You're probably right. Mm. Henry and Thomas. If they were brothers and they were Lawrence's grandchildren. Hmm. Hmm. D, you all right? <sighs> Henry, enough already. What are you trying to say, Thomas? I just remembered something. Back then, Uncle Henry called my father Thomas. Okay, okay, okay. So his hit. So he's Thomas's child. I don't know. Thomas? Your father's name is Thomas! D! That's great! You, you remembered, remembered your, your dad! dad. Franny's father is Henry, Dee's father is Thomas, and Henry and Thomas were brothers. They died on this island in the same year. Hmm. I wonder what happened. Dee looks so upset. He's probably wondering hmm. the same thing. We gotta find Jessica. She's just a hey. teen girl wandering around by herself. Let's use the key. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's get into Franny's room. Yes, it will Now we can look Yay. in Franny's room. Maybe you'll remember something else, Dee. Yes. Yes. It's so cute. Huh? Dee? That was a little this creepy. This is it, deep. Ashley. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Dee, I was a little scared of you there for a second. This is Franny's room. This is Franny's room. This is where we play together. Aww. There's a shelf decorated with, with a doll. What's with this doll? <gasps> what? <gasps> what? D, look at this doll. What is it? Franny made this doll. Franny made it. I hope it. she made this herself. 
pretty impressive. There was this one, and let me think. <gasps> Two other dolls. Two others. Dolls that looked like her mama and papa. This one, she made this doll to look like herself. So this one is supposed to be Franny. Yes. Ooh. What's wrong? Is something bothering you? I remember something Franny said. D, these dolls have to be nice to each other. If they get along, then... Then what, Franny? Then what? Then? Then what? <laughs> the fact that every time I say something, Ashley then says the same thing. We're on the same page, girl. Sorry. That's remember. all I remember. The dolls need to get along? What does that mean? Hey. Yeah. Okay, it won't open unless we put the dolls up there. That I understand. Huh. <gasps> That's oh. another doll. I see the hand, I see the hand, I see the hand. Move. Move, please, move, please, move, please. Pop a doll, pop a doll. I wonder if Franny made this doll too. <laughs> it's so cute. It's missing its right arm. What? It's broken, see? Oh, you're the missing piece must be somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. I don't think this doll is broken. I think it's supposed to be missing its right arm. Why? This is a doll of Franny's father. And? And Franny's father was missing his right arm. Hmm. That's really sad. Okay, going into the next room. Yay, let's go. Oh, this is gorgeous. All the rooms are so pretty. They just need a little dusting and a little bit of light. Two beds. Oh, that's <gasps> the other doll. Why is it in here? <gasps> oh, yeah. Wow, and we found a letter. <gasps> This is farewell. Dear Henry, this is farewell. Having lost not only your beloved grandfather, but others so dear to you in such a short time, I'm sure you are consumed by a grief deeper than I can understand. I believe that Franny and I could heal your heart, but you have changed since sealing yourself off in the silver bird room. I saw how you threw that sprout key into the fountain. You spend... Hint... You spend every day confined in your room, lost in a bottle of alcohol, and terrified of an unseen force. You seem to have lost your will to live. Even Franny is frightened by how long it's been since you picked up a pencil or paintbrush, and yet you still refuse to leave that room. I can no longer see your heart, Henry. I'm taking Franny, and I'm leaving the island. I will never forget how deeply I loved you, Mary. Who's wow. Marie? Oh, Marie. Franny's mama. Franny's mama. Oh. Why do you look so sad? Well, this is a goodbye letter. I don't know what happened between her mom and dad, but... I'm sure Franny wanted them all to stay together. That's why I'm sad. Ashley. Let's put them all back where they belong. What a happy family. Do we think mom goes next? Um... Oh, no, no, no. Papa has to be... Sorry, girly. Papa has to be right here. There we go. And then does it matter um, where Franny goes? Hmm. Um. Okay. I think maybe Franny goes in the middle. And then Mama um, goes there. Ah, yay! A key. A key. Oh, Sprout Key. Okay, so it's not in the fountain. We got the Sprout I Key. I wonder which room... Oh, this one. <gasps> Here it is. Yes! Oh, this is the room. He hold up in. Well, there's a lot of books. It's a hummingbird. It's crooked. 
This bothers me to no end. <laughs> fix it, Jessica. I mean, fix it, Ashley. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, la this la is la la. Why was it hidden behind a painting? Hmm. The painting is of this bird. Hmm. Ah! Ah! I love when Dee has his little memories. You know we're gonna get something. Something. Did you know so there's juicy. a puzzle hidden in this sheet music? If you solve the puzzle and play the music, you'll get to see the piano's secret. I just remembered something. This is the sheet music Franny played on the piano. Oh, really? I wonder if I'd be able to play it. You can play you it. You can play? Wait, that means we have to play it. Hold on. Yeah, Hold on. I practiced on a school piano once in a while. Will you try playing this song? I'll give it a shot. Maybe it'll help jog some more memories. Franny told me there's a puzzle hidden in this sheet music. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. There we go. Okay, we got the sheet music up. Huh? Huh? The music staff looks weird here. It's blank. There aren't any notes oh. or rests indicated. This is the only place without any. We can do uh. it. <sighs> here goes nothing. Okay. I know they're not expecting me to play. Wait. What you played sounded kind of lonely compared to when Franny played it. Lonely? So maybe it was missing an accompaniment? I bet the second staff needs some notes, too. Hmm. Oh, so maybe... Okay, I think we need the notes from the painting, maybe? Let's go see. Let's go see. I feel as if I should take a picture. Boom. Okay, I've got a picture. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It's a perfect fit, now I just need to transcribe it. Okay. Our last puzzle. Let's do it. Oh my god, I do. Okay. Yeah, this is a little more hopeful, I gotta say. was beautiful. What's the secret of the piano? What's the secret? Because she's like, I don't know if I'll remember. And she just goes off. <laughs> it's fantastic. Huh? <gasps> A Ashley, little box? Did you hear that? Sounds like it triggered something. Let's look around. Ooh. A box fell out of the piano. I wonder what it is. This is... Granny found these on the beach. It's shells. What's the little kind chip? Of oh, right. I remember these. Franny found them. These are our treasure. Aww. She hid them here. Hmm? What's this card? It looks like a game cartridge. Is this Franny's too? No. I've She's never like, seen that. That's a game cartridge. I'm old. <laughs> wow. 
What's that noise? It's the DAS. It's the DAS. What's it doing? DAS. Did it read the card? The another key. What's happening? What's happening? So there's three chunks I need to get. Ooh. I've never seen this screen. Is this a map of the mansion? One of the rooms is glowing. What's this another key? I have no idea. Another key. Another key. That's the thing her dad said he was working on. Hello? What the? Who are you? Is that her dad? Where I've been you? waiting for you. Oh my gosh! You guys, that's that's where we're gonna end it. That's where we're gonna end it. I know the biggest cliffhanger ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was wild. Is it her? Is it her dad? Is it somebody else? Is is he keeping Jessica and her dad? Who is this man? What is this? Is is he not even real? Is he like a robot? What? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Another code. What are you doing to us? <laughs> I am ex I'm so excited to finish this. Y'all go finish this for yourselves. Go check out another code recollection. It's on the Nintendo eShop right now. It's also out in physical form as well. Play the demo. Just play the demo. Play it. Why not? It's free. Come on. Give it a shot. Give it a try. You saw how gripping this narrative was. You saw. Oh my god, that was so much fun. That was so much fun. I love the puzzles. I love the care the depth of the characters. I love that we're slowly learning the characters as we go. We're learning piece by piece more about them, more about their parents, more about their lineage. I know there's a connection there somewhere between Dee and Ashley. I just know it. We just don't know what it is yet. I'm excited for more puzzles. Cause like the puzzles are ramping up as we go. You know what I mean? The puzzles were, I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of the end game puzzles look like. Cause I'm sure I will be needing all the hints. Um, what is another? Do we know what another is? No. What is that? I don't know. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. This is another code recollection journey. Thank you so much Nintendo for sponsoring. What the heck? I appreciate it so much. And y'all check out another code recollection on the Nintendo eShop. Let me know if you like it in the comments. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you plan on trying it. I love you so much. Stay cozy. Bye.